What is up guys, Jeffrey Gaming here, welcome back to my F1 2016 career, this is the Malaysian Grand Prix, if you're new to my channel, welcome, do remember to hit subscribe sir, for some more career modes and other types of videos, go and check out the last race in Singapore, um, it wasn't the best, and also there was a change in the intro which I didn't mean to uh, make, a few people were complaining and getting a bit angry over that, but uh, that was a mistake on my part, and hopefully the old one will have returned for this one, but you can see we've lost up quite a bit from Daniel. Ricardo, it wasn't good for us at all. We didn't score any points, and you can see Red Bull have actually made two upgrades. So, yeah, Red Bull are looking very dangerous at the moment. And Ricardo did beat us in the rivalry last time out, so I'm up against him once again. And you can see Red Bull, uh, they're only a little bit ahead of us, but uh, I don't think we're going to have any upgrades in the next couple of races. I'm not going to seize our RD either, by the way, because I want to win the title in this Renault. That would be awesome. But into qualifying, we had a wet session throughout. Got myself up to P11, and now I'm on my second and final run. So let's see if we can challenge the front, because I think Palmer's doing pretty well. And it's him and the two Red Bulls in the top three, so I'd like to be challenging them. It's been a pretty good lap, pretty good on the intermediates. And we're coming to the line where we're going to end up 1.2 up on our previous best. Engineer doesn't sound happy. It's P4, though. I'd be happy with P4. So yeah, pretty decent overall, and actually, Palmer got pole position, which is absolutely incredible, considering his race pace is pretty awful usually, but uh, we have sandwiched the two Red Bulls, so it should be an interesting battle between us and them, the two strongest cars in F1 in this season. So we've got the two Ferraris behind us, the Mercedes are pretty much nowhere, and yeah, there's the rest of the field, but for the race, we have dry, sunny conditions, so I that's... I do like this track, especially in the sunny conditions, so I was looking forward to this, but we do have a drop of rain at the end of the race. Could make things very interesting, but uh, that tyre wear seems very excessive, I've got to say. I feel like I could mix up that strategy, and I was going to try and like do one uh, one run on each compound tyre. So, yeah, just to mix things up, I was going to start on the mediums because we had free reign in terms of strategy. And, yeah, I'll probably change it during the race, depends on the situation, but we're building up to the start of the Malaysian Grand Prix. Five lights, and away we go. We don't get a great start. Palmer gets an absolutely awful start. I'm on the medium compound tyre, so I've got a bit of an excuse. Vettel on the hard compound tyres is right next to me. I think he's going to get ahead of us. That's going to affect us into the braking zone. We have to break pretty early there, but we're going to try and go around the inside, which will turn to the inside for turn two. Watching the car on our inside. Up the inside of Vettel, we've locked up, but I think we might get him... He's got better traction there, side by side, coming through turn three. We go for a bit of a switchback. He loses momentum there. He was moving around the track there quite a lot. And we're up to P... Oh, back into P4 now. But the Red Bull's in the lead. That is not what we needed. And Palmer doesn't seem the quickest, considering he is on the quickest compound tyre. So I might have to overtake him here, even though I'm on the mediums. But you can just see how slow he was through this section. And I'm right on his tail. The dirty air gets me here on the curb, but we nearly lose it. Just keeping control of the car. But you can see... The two Red Bulls are scampering away, so I think I might have to chuck the car up the inside of my teammate at this rate, and by the end of the lap, we could barely see the two Red Bulls, so yeah, hopefully we can get a run here, coming out the final corner. We're going to use the slipstream, which obviously is very powerful, but it looks like I've got better straight line speed than Palmer, so we could get close enough for the move before turn one. Up the inside, this should be pretty easy, though the back end stepping out under braking. Bit of a lock up, but I think he's still there actually. I was going to turn in, but then at the last second I realised he was still there. So this is not helping our cause at all. I think Palmer should stop battling me. We need some team orders. And uh, are we going to get ahead? Yes, we actually eventually get ahead of him. So we're up to P3. Now we have to chase after the two Red Bulls, but I'm already two and a half seconds behind them. And we skipped to lap five now, and yeah, they've uh, definitely scampered off into the distance. But now... It's a Mercedes putting me under pressure. Hamilton's had a pretty good start. I think he started P7, but he is on the soft compound tyres, so I wasn't going to fight this too much. I know Hamilton's got some pretty decent pace, so I was hoping to follow him, and hopefully he can track me towards the Red Bulls. That was a bit of a tactic I was going for here. But Palmer's still behind us, so hopefully he doesn't start uh, catching up to the back of us and challenging us too much. But we do skip ahead now. And uh, the soft compound runners are coming into the pits. I nearly followed Hamilton in there. Um, obviously not purposely because I wasn't going to come into the pits. But just with the late braking he had there. So teammates in the pits. 
I think Ricardo is as well, so Verstappen stays out for an extra lap. So these, some, well, the soft compound tyres can do around seven or eight laps. So that gives me some vital information for my stint on them tyres. But we skip to lap 10 now. All the soft compound tyres uh, runners have pit. And we're going to come in for our pit stop. I did decide to go for the soft compound tyres because there's meant to be rain near the end of the race. So if I use the softs at the end, that means I pr I'm going to waste the uh, best compound tyre, so I thought I might as well put them on here, but I think in hindsight I actually could have one-stopped this race, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this pans out. These uh, medium compound tyres were scheduled to last about 9-10 laps. I could have taken them a couple more, but someone's out the race there. I think that was Felipe Massa. I only saw that very quickly, but coming out side by side with Lewis Hamilton. He's on the hard compound tyres, so we should have the advantage here if our tyres can come up to temperature. We've got to give him room as well, so can we get better traction on the softer compound tyres? And I think, oh no, actually, he's pulling ahead. Are we going to get through? We need to get ahead of him because we can't be losing time to a car on hard compound tyres. We're ahead, but he breaks later than us but I think he's completely missed the uh, braking zone there and there we go luckily for us we got ahead but uh, there's a few cars ahead of us who have not pitched yet and I think Sebastian Vettel could be dangerous later on in the race but we skip to lap 13 now everyone has pit and it's the two Red Bulls but the two Red Bulls are actually battling a little bit which is helping us out which um, could help us out, as I say again, very nicely. So if Verstappen could get ahead of Ricardo, that would be perfect. Because obviously I'm battling Daniel in the uh, driver's standings. But we're solid in third. And we'll be going on to the hard compound tyres in the, in the next few laps. But you can see here, there's a man with a puncture. And the Sauber does all his best work to try and get past him. Like, the AI, again, are just so dumb at times. And yeah, Verline there, just driving so slowly with a puncture. And now the two Red Bulls. That's still pulling away from me. There's yellow flag ahead. Not sure if there's an incident there, but we're coming through. Down the back straight, and Daniel Ricciardo, hallelujah, is out the race. And we're going to see what happened here. I was just waiting for this moment. Ah, oh, the luck. What is Ricardo doing? That's not the work of a World Drivers' Championship potential champion. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Ricardo is out the race. Brilliant news. And Verstappen gets so close there. There's a flying front wing as well. This is how close the Red Bull got to the manor. I mean, look at this. They're virtually touching tyres. There must be like a centimetre between them there. That's incredible. And yeah, it shows that AI need a lot of work. So we're up to P2 now. That's the manor going into the pits. So we're probably about, I don't know, four or five seconds behind Verstappen. So we're trying to make these soft compound tyres work. But his pace is actually really good on them hards. I struggled to pull in or pull the gap down. But now lap 17, I was meant to take these tyres another lap. But I thought, hopefully Verstappen doesn't go in and I'll go for the undercut. Because he should go on to the hard compound tyres again. I think the AI are going for like soft hard hard so I'm gonna mix things up here see what we can do we're coming in slow it down for the pit line done very nicely indeed someone else retired there I think I was in my teammate oh my team is coming to the pits as well I'm so sorry Julian but I did call the team to say I was coming in Hamilton was in as well there he's gonna come out behind Alonso which is gonna help us out because I feel like he could also be a threat later on but let's see how the undercut will it pay off for one against Verstappen. I don't think we're going to get ahead of him, but we should close the gap down, theoretically. So, he's in the pits now with a lot of other runners. But the key thing is, we do have rain coming down in about, I think it was about 10 minutes from now. But uh, where's Verstappen? There he is in the distance, and he's going to come out ahead of Kvyat. I was hoping Kvyat could get into the mix there and hold up the uh, Red Bull driver. But we are closer. I think... We've got a shot here, but now, lap 23, it is starting to rain. I was starting to struggle. My tyres weren't that worn either, but the track was getting damper and damper. I think it was more in Sector 2 where it was the, at its trickiest, so I thought, I might take a bit of a gamble here. I know Ricardo's out the race, but I want to win this race, and I'm going to come into the pits and then see what happens. So, it is a big gamble considering we're in second position, but I thought it would be a fruitful gamble. So, we're coming in on the intermediate... Uh, tires and it looks like not or maybe no one at all is coming in so that worried me slightly so hopefully we have a good stop solid stop there two and a half seconds coming out don't any traffic but it is the rain is getting heavier but I don't think the track is wet enough just yet oh uh, we might have come in slightly too early but let's see how we do we're trying to hold off the Williams behind us of Bottas, but if he can breeze past us, then that's going to be worrying. But it is tricky to control the car, but 
Well, it doesn't seem too bad. I think maybe in half a lap's time we could be okay, so hopefully that'll pay off for us. And it eventually did on the uh, next lap. The AI had a, pretty much three quarters of a lap struggling and it worked well for us and I think we could be in the mix of Verstappen. He's the lead one coming out of the pits now. So it's going to be a lot closer than it was before. So it has worked in a way. We had that initial struggle. But there we go, Verstappen. He's what? Three seconds ahead of us, maybe? There's actually a car in the lead, and I think that's a car still on dry compound tyres. I was slightly worried at the time, but there we go. Verstappen is caught up, and it's a Mercedes. It is Lewis Hamilton who is not going to win the title with decisions like that. That is awful. That's going to drop him so far down the field. And now, with two laps to go, the battle is on between myself and Max Verstappen. The gap is down to 2.3 seconds. Can I close him down in the final stages of this Malaysian Grand Prix? And yes, I can. Run the final lap now. And we're just in touch and distance can we get close enough to make a dive bomb like he would on me or to anyone else like he did to Nico Rosberg at uh, Brazil into turn one can we do something like that but we are handling these conditions very well it seems like we do have the edge over Verstappen here so I'm just hoping to get close enough maybe down here into the very tricky right hander but Verstappen seems a bit slower into that corner so I thought about it maybe down here no we'll wait a little bit and it looks like it's gonna go all the way to the final corner can we get a good run no oversteer needed here keep off the curve and now we've got rich mix we've got slipstream we're gonna get closer and closer I think we should have better straight line speed and it's getting closer into the final corner can we make the overtake we're gonna slip it up the inside for the victory and there's not a lot of fight in there for Verstappen because we've taken the lead. Final corner, we're coming to the line to win the Malaysian Grand Prix in the final corner, in the rain. And that's going to help us no end in the championship as Ricardo has not scored any points. Oh, that was such a, such a satisfying final couple of laps on them intermediate con uh, tyres in those conditions. I just felt w at one with the car. Brilliant scenes here, and it's another winner's trophy for us. I think that's our fifth win in the season, so incredible run of form in pretty much the second half of the season. So, very happy with that. There is one Mercedes on the podium, but hey, for me in the championship, Rosberg again on the podium, not bothered about that at all. We'll see Hamilton actually finish seventh, so his strategy call didn't pay off at all. Palmer... Once again, get some solid points, but it's not good enough. He was on pole. That's why I kind of want to move to a new team next season. I'm thinking I'm going to turn the difficulty up to ultimate as well. So it should be interesting. I want a teammate that actually challenges me. And Palmer does not do that. We can see there's the big one, Dan, Danny Ricardo. No showy for you because you are crashing into the back of Manners with a puncture. Unbelievable scenes there. So in the driver's standings, we have narrowed the gap down to eight points. It's going to be intense. The two Mercedes are lagging behind us. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to keep up, but uh, hey, in terms of excitement, I hope they do kind of uh, close in on us, but I think me and Ricardo just have too much this season. Where's my teammate at? P8. Yeah. It's not good enough. I'm sure he scored about 20 points in the past, what, 10 races maybe? It's unacceptable. Someone to s should sack that guy, but unfortunately not. So we can see there's still four cars who haven't scored yet. Into the Constructors. And that's what I say. We could be challenging if uh, Palmer booked up his ideas, but there's a great battle at the top there. So, if you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time out. Goodbye.